Hey Space Watchers and welcome here from the first EU ISOS conference in Munich. It's an event organized by the European Commission about ISOS in orbit servicing. Uh, the entire sector is very interesting and I have the great pleasure to talk to one of the leading companies in Europe that we have in the segment and that's Infinite Orbit and I'm talking to their chief Commercial, Commercial officers. officers. I was about Marion, and I'm not so keen to try to pronounce your surname. So please help That's me okay. and introduce you yourself to our audience. That's okay. I'm not super comfortable with German names neither. So Marion Andrieu, I am the Chief Commercial Officer of Infinite Orbits. So how are you doing today? I am fine, actually. It's a very exciting event. Absolutely. So as I introduced you as one of the hopes that we have in Europe on this sector, maybe you can tell us a bit more what Infinite Orbits are doing so today? Sure. So Infinite Orbits is a French new space company. We are developing in-orbit services, so it's a perfect day for us. We developed two kinds of servicers, only in geostationary orbit. So both servicers are aimed to protect or extend the life of already yeah. in-orbit satellites. So one of our servicers is OrbitGuard. It's a surveillance microsatellite in GEO. It will be the first GEO surveillance capacity for the French Space Command. And that's one of our products. It's a small one for with eyes and ears in geostationary orbit. And we have another product, which is Endurance. And yeah. this one is more ambitious. It approaches up to 70 centimeters to end-of-life satellites. It docked to it and it stays docked for five years to extend their lifespan. Wow. Okay. Both are... Geo yes. uh, satellites. So when you talk about the orbital guard, orbit guard, yeah. orbit guard. Okay, almost. So it's a small satellite that you put in Geo. That is something what is challenging on its own, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Very so challenging. So tell us more about that and about its capabilities, because these inspector satellites are very interesting at the moment for the new wave of space activities as we see in Europe at the moment. Yeah, and that's the perfect example of dual use cases of in-orbit services. The inspection satellites have one mission. Yeah. They are bodyguards for uh, geostrategic assets. Our orbit guard product has two use cases. The first thing is a passive surveillance, so you drift below geo and you can acquire data that you already have from ground sensors, but with mayor best quality. Yeah. So you'll get optical and radio frequency data. You'll be able to know exactly what is going on in orbit, in geostationary orbit. And this is the orbit when we, are, when we have the more valuable assets right now. You have 90% of the value of all satellites that are still in geo. So we still need to have some eyes and knowledge about the situation there. So it's a passive surveillance asset. And additionally to that, you have what we call an active surveillance yeah which is if we are near from a strategic asset and that a threat is coming, you can characterize this threat notifying before it arrives, but also knowing exactly what the threat is and what is the satellite, what are the payloads and, and all the information you need to know at that moment to react. So you mentioned that the French military is your first client for that. These kind of satellites have obviously a very defined dual use character. Right? Yes. So is that something also that, as a government, Germany, it's not a secret that Germany is at the moment putting a lot of money on the table and needs capabilities. So how fast can you deliver? No, but would that be also something for the German military, for instance? Yeah. So the first Orbit Guards will be launched in 2027. Okay. So we launched previous version of Orbit Guards, but now our product is evolving. And that's a question also how it will evolve in the coming years, but the current version with both use cases I described, will be launched in 2027. Now, to deliver a satellite, you have two information to have. How fast can we build it and how fast can we launch it? Yeah. So how fast can we build it? Actually, now the design is already uh, closed and finalized, and now we need to manufacture. So that we can manufacture satellite in 18 months for okay. orbit guards. But then you have to launch it in GEO, and that's not simple. As yeah. For that, we already secured some launch solutions with very fast geo deployment capacities. So we know that we can launch several orbit guards in 2028 and several orbit guards in 2029 also. Okay. They are meant to be launched two satellites, two orbit guards at the same time. Oh, wow. Per okay. batch. Yeah. Interesting. And then from this very specific satellite, you will hand over these entire operations to your clients or is it more 
a service that you're offering also to the market? Yeah, both are possible, actually. Okay. okay. What we offer and how we developed our ground segment with our partners, Telespazio, in, in, in that case, is that we made it flexible from the beginning. Okay. We are flexible because we can provide satellites, and we are flexible because our DNA is to provide services, but both are possible. It's like for the operation. We can operate the satellite for a customer, like we do for some customers, or we can have an endover and they operate their own satellites. That's also possible. I see. And it's something I learned before is that there are also a number of German companies involved that you're working with on the structural side and the sensor. So that was nice to hear that it's really a European approach that you're, that you're driving. Is that correct? Yeah, that's totally correct. You understood very correctly. We have We had a bet years ago that we bet that if we have strong European partners, then we can go faster and further at the same time. And the bet is successful because we have strong partners for years, especially German ones. We work with space structures or kinetic and so many others. I'm sorry, I forgot some. But they work with us closely on very key aspects on our yeah. satellite. The space structures and the structure, as the name says. And Kinetic works on us with us on the docking system for yeah. Endurance. So it's really the key technology on our satellite. And we are very happy about these partnerships. Great. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the uh, second part of the conference. And if you are looking for a service satellite, <laughs> talk to them. I think that's an offering that is out there in the market and with also some heritage. With that, Space Watch out. <laughs>